Okay, here's kind of a little quiz for you. Uh -oh. What do you get when like you take ribbles. a jammer, a jammer, a pivot, uh -huh. three blockers, and a whole lot of attitude? I have no idea. Throw in a pair of four-wheeled skates and you've got yourself an exciting <laughs> Saturday night. Roller Derby is enjoying a resurgence of popularity around the country. And here in Syracuse, the ladies of the Assault City Rollers cool. are showing off their hardcore derby skills in this full contact sport. Wow. Oh my word. The fans are loving every second. Yes, we have nurses, attorneys, private investigators, bookkeepers, real estate agents, daycare managers. It takes a lot of physical ability to play roller derby. You know, and then you have to combine that all with the strategy of the game while you're on skates. So you take all these sports, you know, mix them all together and add roller skates. It's a, it is a bit of a high when you're out there and, you know, there's, and you're actually performing really well and all of your teammates are clicking together. It's just, it, it, when it works well, it's really fun. Well, you'll have two teams. There's only five girls on the track from each team at a time. There's four blockers and a jammer. The jammer is like a human ball. The object is, is for the jammer to go through the pack, make an initial pass, and every time they pass somebody from the opposite team, they score a point. So as a blocker, you are to help your, block, your jammer get through while trying to prevent the other jammer to get through. It's the only game that I know of that you're playing offense and defense simultaneously. You're playing it at the same time. It's definitely, it's a pretty complicated sport. It doesn't look like it, but there's just a lot of strategy and a lot of different skills to learn. So it's not just about necessarily hitting players out of bounds, but slowing them down and finding ways to work together with your teammates and communicate but you can do um, hip checks, so you can hit somebody with your hip. You can do shoulder blocks, body blocks, booty blocks. You cannot hit an opponent in the back. So it's very common for somebody to take a very wide leg stance and stick their butt out and swing it around. So that'll actually try to keep somebody behind you. Once they get by you, then you can hit them legally from here to the mid thigh. You know, but you can't hit them in the back. You can hit them in the front. You can hit them hitting the chest, you know, but you can't, so they do a lot of blocking. You know, but we wear our bruises with pride. We usually take pictures of them and post them and things like that. I actually came to support a girlfriend of mine. Um, I thought for sure she would need a ride home after practice because she was going to break something. And I can't, probably came to three practices before I put skates on and that's all it took. Once I put the skates on and started hitting, it was three years ago, so and I was hooked. Uh, my mom was a little skeptic at first, and like all moms, she was worried I was gonna get hurt. Uh, my dad, I was actually most excited to tell my dad about it because I took his, num his old hockey number, and um, as a kid, he always wanted me to play hockey, but I went into figure skating instead, and so it was kind of a letdown for him. So the violence and uh, aggressiveness of roller derby is like the most. So <laughs> they both think it's hilarious. You know, you can be a totally different person on the track. Um, you can be aggressive. You can, you know, take out day-to-day -day stresses on your teammates that you know are all there and understand that. And then uh, there's such a com camaraderie to it. Uh, we have a bunch of strong women who enjoy the same thing, and um, you know, you can be aggressive on the track and then be best friends off of it. It's about sportsmen, about sportswomanship. Um, it's about team, it's about family, um, it's about being an athlete. <laughs> Once you're on the track, everybody is the same. Everybody looks the same, everybody is the same and you just get here and it's, that stuff is just gone. You know, the stereotypes or social class distinctions, things like that is just, it's just gone. You know, it just, it really creates a sisterhood and just a place that you can just let loose. It's really inspiring. It's 
we're all here to push each other and we do become a family. Um, so to be around so many strong women from so many different backgrounds is just, you know, you automatically have this family um, and you're bonded by that. If there's even a, a little part of you that is curious, um, you don't have to fit into a certain body type. Um, you don't have to be good at skating. Uh, I've never skated before I tried out and they, we have really good teachers and you know, the girls are really work with you to um, work on your weaknesses and encourage your strength. So any and all types of people, any and all types of women, come on out. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I would wow. not want to mess with any of those ladies. Especially Krispy Kreme, yeah. Malice in Wonderland. I need a roller derby name. You know, when I was Amiable a kid. Amiable lot. Yeah, no. Amiable. I'll work on we'll that. Work on it. When I'll I was a kid, I used to stay uh, summers with my brother in New Jersey, and they used to get the roller derby from Philadelphia okay. on the television all the time. I was glued to it as a kid. Well, glued I to took it. I took my 13-year-old niece to see that Drew Barrymore yeah. roller derby, and of course, that's what she wanted to do when she got out of the movie. <laughs> my sister was really excited that she wanted to make a Thanks, career. Thanks, Aunt Amy. That, it's the Assault City Rollers versus the Assault City Rollers this Saturday. Kind of a scrimmage kind of July thing. July 17th at 7 p.m. at the Greater Baldwinsville Ice Arena in Baldwinsville. They used to throw me out of the roller skating parties for doing the exact same thing those <laughs> women are getting paid for. There's going to be refreshments, there's going to be live music, there's going to be loads of excitement, and a dollar from each ticket sold will benefit the Carol M. Baldwin Breast Cancer Research Fund of Central New York. Now, to get more information about the ladies of the Assault City Rollers and their upcoming bouts, visit AssaultCityRollerDerby.com. Very, very cool. Check out WCNY Connected with us, Ted and Amy. Thursday nights at 9 on WCNY.